Oh, oh my god, there's one there. Now just some quick maritime safety stuff. Under your seats there's life jackets. <laughs> and for those that looked, I'll let you think about it for a little while. Point it out. Keep your bits and pieces inside the grill. These guys can jump pretty high. There's a rope here for a reason, stay behind it. And if a crocodile jumps in the boat, he won't come under the rope either, so he'll be all right. <laughs> Off we go, let's have some fun. Let's see some crocs. There's 24 in this lagoon. Salt water. Or estuarine on crocodiles. 17 of those are female, and there's 7 males. All wetlands together. And there's plenty of food here for the crocs to eat without this boat tour. For instance, these dusky boy ends. They're very stupid birds again. Jaws are like a hydraulic device. Now this is Mick, I wonder if I get him in the mood. Oh, he's really good. Two weeks ago, he was lucky to get out of that. How do you Got a couple of here as well. Did they save his hand or not? Oh, he went into
<gasps> this looks amazing. This is so easy. How many kilos? 100. Oh my God. More. This is this is so easy. This is incredible. They're moving quite a, a lot more than I expected them to as well. Oh my goodness. This is all female, so they get everything they need. Wow. Apparently he's not eating, he's gonna get cooked. Oh my goodness. Come on, mate. See his teeth there? Little jaw slab there. See his teeth? He's got 66 teeth in his mouth. And they get between 50 and 60 sets throughout their life. And they replace their teeth probably once every two years. So it's when they finish replacing their teeth that they're pretty much done in the world, somewhere between 70 and 90. Any Kiwis in the crowd? Let's hear you guys say that one. <laughs> 60 socks teeth and they get between 50 and 60 sits. <laughs> Bit of a tongue twister for you. So somewhere between 70 and 90. He knows he's going to get fed, he knows I'm going to work him for it first. He's got to show off to the crowd a little bit. Breach its head above the surface to swallow. Otherwise if he tries to swallow big food underwater, water's going to gush down his throat and he's going to um, possibly risk the chance of drowning himself. The ranger comes down and says, do not swim in the water. You, are 100 uh, you have a 100% chance of being attacked. 100%, pretty good odds. That to me would ring some alarm bells. These guys, the guy having the party and his mate, very similar to me and Jesse on the turps all day. We go, come on mate, I'll race ya from that end of the lagoon back to here. Let's see who makes it. Bit of fun, thought it was a joke. Two went in, guess how many came out? Well, one did, and he's lucky he did. Okay, the guy out of the party got taken. Very sad for him and his family. Um, your, conse your consequences are a result of your own actions. Very stupid thing to do. Also very um, sad for the croc. They went and slaughtered half a dozen crocs this size looking for his remains. Okay, and then there was the guy in the boat two weeks ago in the Northern Territory as well. You would have heard that, he got plucked out of his boat. Um, what was he doing in front of his family? Croc that size, possibly bigger, four and a half metre male. Um, if I'm standing here, Spartacus cannot get me. If I'm leaning over like this, he can. Okay, the guy had been doing it once again for 20 years, let his guard down. He was cleaning out the bucket on his boat, crocked that size, went over, submarine style, snuck up, launched out of the water, pulled him in. Okay, all over for him. Not going to get a second chance with these guys. That's one of the little females in the way. See if this one gives us a jaw slap. When a, when a croc shuts its mouth, if you can see Spartacus here, you'll see the top and bottom teeth protrude. See that? Yep. When a gator it shuts its mouth, only the top teeth will come down. The bottom teeth will go into their sockets. So if you're in the water, and you're not sure whether it's a gator or a croc coming at you, look at its teeth. If there's teeth going up and down, get the bloody hell out. <laughs> no, I wouldn't swim with the gators either. Mate, we've already done this. <laughs> he knows he's going to get something. This is learned behaviour. He got some before. He's more than happy to come up now. Give Spartacus a big round of applause, everyone. Let's go over to the freshy section. Um